Hi, my name is Dr. Kimberly Sanders and I'm a clinical pharmacist and I specialize in pharmacy practice and medication management in dental settings. In this segment, we will take a closer look at using the Prescription Drug Monitoring Program, also known as the PDMP. The goal of risk mitigation is to make opioid prescribing safer while maintaining access to opioid analgesics for those patients who are benefiting from them. Prescription drug monitoring programs are one way to monitor and limit a patient's access to opioids. A PDMP is an electronic database that tracks controlled substance prescriptions within a state and in many cases across multiple states. PDMPs can provide healthcare providers and health authorities with timely information about prescribing and patient behaviors that contribute to the epidemic and facilitate a nimble and targeted response. PDMPs may vary from state to state, but in North Carolina, a query report on a patient specifically provides for all controlled substances, a prescription written date, the prescription fill date, the drug and strength, the quantity, day's supply, prescriber, dispensing pharmacy, the average morphine milliequivalents or MMEs per day, and the payment type. This can include insurance or cash. And this is all across a certain period of time. It allows for assessing for discrepancies and ensuring safe prescribing practices. It is important to query PDMPs prior to the initial prescription and then periodically. Queries at three, six, and 12 month intervals are suggested and recommended for patients who are being managed with opioid therapy. So do PDMPs even work? In one study analyzing the prescription of opioid analgesics by dentists, the total number of prescribed opioid pills in a three-month period decreased from 5,096 to 1,120, signifying a 78% reduction in absolute quantity. This reduction was attributed to the use of PDMPs in healthcare settings. Thank you.